Hello, hello, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Hype and Logan beat the living shit out of each other in video games for my amusement. Yes, sir. Today's game of choice, Rayman Arena for the Nintendo GameCube. You know, I probably should have raised, like, more, like, objection when I saw that the name of the show was just a very long acronym and I couldn't figure out what it stood for, but now that I know what the whole acronym stands for, I don't want to beat poor Hype. Well, I, I uh, actually hold on. Real, go back. Go back real quick. Uh, oh. Just because I, uh, just to keep the keep things short and simple, we'll just have one victory per um, game mode. Oh, so, one victory. Uh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Because yeah, we're gonna be showing we're gonna be showing off all the uh, major modes of Rayman Arena. That being the uh, obstacle course, the free the uh, time attack, the um, total fight, and freeze combat. Okay. Well, you know what they say. All you gotta do is say my name. Da -da -da. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I'm actually very curious to learn more about... Whoa. Yeah, that's that game's version of Dark Rayman. I'm very curious to learn about the licensing or whatever, whatever, like... what Whatever, like, made them think, yes, we need a Beetlejuice glow box. I think they only did it this way because, you know, there is, it is still sort of within the same realms of parody. Mm-hmm. That and I, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's like an earlier version of Rayman Arena, or maybe it was Rayman Rush. I don't forget. I forget which of the two. Where there was an unlockable uh, Superman skin for Glowbox. Hmm. Interesting. I, I just imagine him just tearing off like, well, he tears off like his skin as though it as though it were a jacket, only to reveal more skin and then the Superman shirt just cause. It's like. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I don't wear a shirt. All right, so th rest assured, ladies and gentlemen, I made sure these boys got in their practice because uh, Rayman Arena has a few interesting bits of tech to it. Like, for example, whenever you go through a dash pad, constantly press on the Y button in order to gl gl go even faster than you would normally. Think of it kind of like in Diddy Kong Racing where you let go of the acceleration when you go past the zipper. Right. So you'll hear a lot of sound effects when it happens. Also, if also you can also trigger it by uh, jumping and right as you land, also pressing the action button. Gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay. What? There we Meanwhile, go. Rayman's taking the top path, and if he knows what he's doing, he can get us. Uh, he's getting close enough to uh, Glowbox over there. I closed the gap after I flubbed up after he stunned me because yeah, there. Uh, in obstacle races, you normally cannot damage your opponent directly, but. If you dash into them, that can uh, that can trip them up, which can be very helpful at the best of times. Because um, unless you know where the the shortcuts are in these uh, levels, uh, every character more or less plays the exact same. So it's it's primarily a matter of who can play the game better. Oh. Right. So now I and oh and, and an interesting little uh, quirk of a Rayman soundtrack is that whoever is in the first place, you get to hear their music. It's an interesting little way to showcase who's in the lead at the moment. Oh, and uh, for those wondering where Gwee is at the moment, she's learned her lesson after our Rayman and Rabbit shenanigans, so she knows when to pick her battles. Oh, darn. I so mean, she'd rather she'd rather be warmed up for our, our next big Rayman uh, commentary for the channel, anyway. Right, yeah. which we are definitely still prepping all those things together for that. Whee! But uh, yeah, other than that, I've been uh, th this. I, I remember playing this game on the PS2, and unfortunately, I did not have ah. much of a. Come on, come on, come on, you're almost there. Oh, just barely. <laughs> oh, it was a close one. As Parsec but commanded. It was not Parsec. That was close, still, dude. But um, but yeah, no, it, I played this game. Oh with... come on, it wasn't that bad. Okay, maybe it was. <laughs> yeah, that, that's just the event over music. They just. They're sad that you're not playing the game. But no, no, it's, um, I played this game on play PS2, I owned it. I did not have a lot of people to play it with, especially since, it was, how to put it? I didn't have a lot of people to play play it with in the sense of, if I had, say, four friends over, I didn't own, <laughs> oh shit, it's okay. I didn't own them. Hey, his children had to learn from someone. But yeah, I didn't own a multi-tap or anything like that, so if you have four friends over, you're more or less going to probably be playing something like Mario Kart or Mario Party instead. Also, so. I will definitely say, in regards to Rayman Arena, I, I know I brought this up during our look at this game a long, long time ago, but uh, if oh, you want to play this game... Thumbs up. I'm going to say, I actually uh, have want to back out so we can suck the time race next. Oh, all right. Sorry, back to you, James. So, um, I will definitely say, I brought this up before... Uh, Rayman Arena was initially re re uh, made for the PS2 and uh, oh, PC. Oh, they can't, as go, a, that's, I can't go shorter than four. 
That's fair. That's fair. Oh, that, I'll be fine. That's fair. But you know what? That's that's good enough because, I, well, anyway, I'll get more into that later. What I'm trying to say is that um, uh, back when it was on release on PS2 and PC, you could sort of tell it was kind of like an experimental phase. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you can sort of tell that they, there was a few... It could have used a little extra polish, which is what they added on to the eventual GameCube and Xbox release of um, Rayman Arena, which is the version I grew up with, thankfully. Okay, so that okay, so that, that would then explain it. Because I also remember, for some reason... I also, for some reason, I also remember the PS2 version like had a fixed camera at some points. Like, the, like the combat felt more like um, burning fire, burning heart, gem, whatever that one... Uh, it was on the Super Nintendo, I think. It was like an old fighting game where it was a fixed camera perspective. It was like Sonic Battle, where you run around a little arena. Oh, it had a name. I don't remember the Ray Rayman M like the old Rayman Arena version being like that, but I can sort of understand where you're coming from. Anyway, let's see which one of these deranged loonies will come on top first. <sighs> So the big thing behind the time attack is that uh, both you and your opponent have uh, ice balls to throw at each other, which can enough temporarily freeze them. Now the major, now to win, in order to win, you have to literally get a big enough lead over your opponent as you cross the goal. Then a timer will start. If the other opponent is not able to oh, make it within the time frame, they are knocked out. Right. So, uh, so yeah, basically, yeah, the, the the objective is to establish enough of a lead over your opponent. Well, uh, uh, what this here? Yeah, you want I mean, to establish a. That... <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. No, just say yeah. You just want to establish a big enough of a lead that way you can, you know, be the fastest one there. Excuse me. So, so uh, I... what are your what are your thoughts on probably the mo the weirdest anomalies ever to grace oh, a Rain Man game? Dark Globox and Mrs. Racer Beard. Yeah, your thoughts on that hype? Um, it is interesting. Um. Sorry if I'm not talking too much. I I, I want to try to at least win this. Yeah, we're going. Even though we're I'm not to... going to. I mean, I mean, we'll see. But yeah, uh, that that's what we're that that's how we'll that's see, how we're playing the game. I mean, you've been keeping it pretty close, and I do think that the person Whoa, it's like, nice. Chris, has a pretty big uh, advantage having the ice projectiles on their side. Oh boy! Uh -oh. Until Ow. he does something like that and overestimates his jump. Curse my fart flying powers shooting out on me at the last minute. Oh, uh, what the? I'm assuming these. Uh, I'm assuming these uh, characters like were just originally originals made purely for the game. Yep, as well as uh, a particular fairy character named uh, Lily. Or no, it was either Tilly or Lily. I forget which of the two. Either okay. way, she was. It's kind of sad too, because originally uh, Lee the Fairy from Rayman 2 was meant to be in this game, but they just were just up and scrapped her at the last minute and gave us this random other fairy to uh, take her place. Which, yeah, which again, this doesn't make sense to me, considering the fact that there are already races against Lee in the game that introduced her. Right. Like the race between her and Rayman. I mean, you know what? For all I know, maybe she they didn't put her in because technically she is she literally is OP at racing. Like no matter what, she'll always get to get ahead of you in Rayman too. Which I mean, kind of great, kind of grateful that you never had to worry about that, it's like beating her in the first place. Oh, and yeah. done. Darn. I knew reverse psychology would work. Oh, that was some Splatoon music right there. But okay. <laughs> and so the deranged Tasmanian Globox won. Very much. Yeah. So, actually, I guess I could ask you, Logan. Like, what were your th what What are your thoughts on the being that is Dark Globox? I mean, it's no it's no weirder to me than the concept of Dark Daxter from Jack. I mean, it's just it's it was a trend, and they wanted to see like, oh, there's a Dark Rayman. Let's make the anti Globox. But the skull on his back. Yeah. Just, I mean, it's it's a dream world. I I've learned to just accept the wackiness and weirdness of. Uh, what sort of nightmares was Pollock having when that thing was created, anyway? Uh, really one knows. of those one of those nightmares that is like just probably one of those nightmares that ends up you know leaving right. a hungry region. Now of the fridge. you know what? I, I I feel really good about that one race victory. Time for Logan to pretty much wipe the floor with me in retaliation. I don't know, man, because now that we know how to strafe, it, it's anybody's game. So, yeah, a as Rayman Arena usually uh, keep displays... It, keep, it, keep it to three minutes. Keep it to three minutes. As All Rayman right. Arena displays in its uh, little quirky anim intro cutscene, uh, not only are you running and chasing, you are battling and strafing. Wait a minute, that's... Is that supposed to be... T is that supposed to be the Tim Burncat woman? 
Either, it, it either, could be. <laughs> either that or the weirdo in me is remembering this old comic called Empowered. Especially with the weird tears across the skin. Or the you know suit. what? I kind of remember Empowered now that you think about it. Like, I don't remember reading it, but I have seen, like, uh, pages of it now and then. I was, it was around here and there. And then there's the two teensies. Ah, Again. yes. I, I still love that that whole idea where it's literally two... Like, one TT isn't enough to really go out of the... Oh, yeah, Rise and Shrine... Oh, uh, oh, uh, no, no, Rise no, no, and Shrine there. will be off-limits for this uh, for the sake of this uh, look at because, uh, unfortunately, Dolphin will crash whenever you try to load that level up. Kind of a shame, honestly. Too many particle effects. And look, well, there's actually, even you know, Lee's Palace. Just... <laughs> the character who should have been here. Yeah. Whatever did happen to her, anyway. Everyone's judgmentally looking at Rayman. He's like, I don't know. Everyone's like, Rayman, did you rip one? <laughs> no. Become clean. And then, and then Dark Glow, and then Dark Glowbox literally mutters under his breath. <laughs> <laughs> and and freaking Razorbeard's over there like, man, I thought I was evil. Okay, so oh. oh. <laughs> so the whole point of the total fight Ow. is literally just to get as dealt as many hits on your opponent as possible to gain more points. The, the one with the highest score by the end, the end of the time limit is the winner. Okay, okay. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, uh, <laughs> and remember, go? just be which way did you go, George? And remember, there are <sighs> there will be uh, power ropes pelted all across the map. So pay uh, pay, uh, pay no spare no hesitation to uh, go and grab them whenever possible. It also hey, looks like there's right, a bit of a really does help. Yeah, yeah. It looks like there's a bit. It, it, it's like it gives you a bit of a lock on even. I mean, that's kind of what it, how it was in Remain too. And then in fact, yeah, that's, that's true. I I feel like this is like the whole reason why this game was made in the first place be was because they wanted to make a party game out of that whole fighting system for Remain too. I mean, it makes sense to me given the. Uh, yep. G g it makes sense to me given you know the, the trend that was happening with a lot of 3D platformers back in that day. You know, Donkey Kong 64, oh, Banjo Kazooie, like they all had some multiplayer modes, or I guess Banjo Tooie more so than Kazooie, but you know. I will admit, the way that the TTs are literally walking around in battle mode, it's, I don't know, it's not quite as fun to me as it like, is like during the races oh, where boy. he's literally all going all, giddy up, horsey, giddy up! Right, and then like their big dash attack is rolling around, and if you're not rolling, their walking animation is just them playing leapfrog. Oh, <laughs> for a re for summer. Oh, oh, there I'm goes down. your crown. Ah, because I picked up the, uh, the power up and... That actually would have been an interesting idea, like, I only get to be the crown and thus the Grand Minimus if I ha am in first place. Otherwise, I'm just two teensies who are boring. Which is, again, I don't know if they ever touched upon that in Rayman 3, but that was still, uh, that was still a, a gimmick I, I still kind of missed from Rayman 2, where nobody could actually tell who the Grand Minimus was, so they just kind of, they, they just developed a system of taking turns. <laughs> yeah, and the, by the, yeah, by Rayman 3, they just like, you know what, why don't we all just be the king? Yeah, makes sense. Oh no! All right, one minute left. <laughs> and then I love the hover animation. <laughs> Here, I'll show off like, real quick. Woo -doo -woo -doo -woo -doo -woo -doo. It's just. Let me see. Let me see. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I can't shut off. I'm getting hit. What was that one old game that had like the, it was like a whiplash? Whip yeah, whiplash. That's it. Yeah, I, I was thinking of that too. Yeah, so if I go up here, this is there. I was just. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> ah, I can't. It's fun. Take it. Oh jeez. Oh, Damn. Actually, it's funny is that it felt like you had me in a combo loop for a second there. Well, you're you're the one having me in the combo loop if I don't walk the wrong. Like, no, I mean just like earlier after you were doing the whole wow 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 wow. I don't know. I mean, like, you did yeah. have a power up that can let, let, literally put you in a loop. Oh, that maybe would have been at the power up. So come on, give me some. Oh, well, that being said, whoever's still at the moment is at a very high lead. So. Uh... Yeah, I cannot. Uh, that, that the lock, that lock on really does help. Come on, oh, here. Boy. I mean. <laughs> And that's the other thing is that since I can't hit her ball in the death damage, I mean it, it's it's done deal. There you go. And you're your right. fault. You know, you know, you're right. The strafing was really useful. Thank you for it telling is. me that, Logan. Well, but James one who told us first, and we were like, oh, because before I, we were just I, I, flailing I wanna... and running around with our chickens. Yeah, like, I, I want to yeah. at least pretend you told me because it was like you were giving the, you were giving the poor boy a chance to fight. Oh, sh <laughs> you're fine. So, uh, James, was there any other like I know uh, we were looking at at one point a, a while back. I don't know if we'll, I don't know if we will show it off just because I feel like in some ways it's still an inferior version of this game. I know you showed me the PS1 version of a Rayman. Ah, uh, yes, Rayman Rush, and I just noticed the TCs are literally having their little sad huddle right there. Yeah, 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 yeah little buddy, it's gonna be okay. Uh, how, oh, about, yeah, no, how, about, how about this? Uh, how about I take you out for a drink instead? Give me a chalky milk. And they go back. 
Jockey Beak it is. But um, yeah, no, there was a there was a PS1 version of this game release called Rayman Rush, which completely got rid of all the battle mode stuff and stuck straight to the races. Right. Which, for what it's worth, it's not a bad version of the game. It's a little more dated, considering it's on the PS1 as opposed to the, you know, the newer consoles of the time. Uh -huh. And some of the characters were changed around. Like, for example, you start the game off with just Rayman, Glowbox, the Henchbot, and Razorbeard. Uh, TC was still there, but you had to unlock him. Uh, and the other ki Tilly was also there as well, as well as uh, Razorbeard's wife. But uh, uh -huh. Dark Ray as opposed to Dark Rayman, or excuse me, Dark Glowbox, they gave us... Uh, a, a new character named Globet, who may as well just be that game's equivalent to Uglet. Yeah, I was going to say so that, that, that should be Uglet. Like, um, is it Go in ahead. all battle arenas where Wise and Shine is off limits? Uh, I imagine yes. so. Just like just the map in and of itself. The map, like itself, the map itself has a weird bug that Dolphin can't quite comprehend. Okay. Kind of a shame, um, honestly. But, um, while, okay. while we're finding it, I guess I'll say... Um, what is the... Uh, what is the difference between uh, our original battle mode and this new freeze battle mode? So with freeze battle mode, you you have your freezing powers from time attack. Though this time the mm -hmm. goal is not so much to pelt each other with the ice balls, but there will be lumps scattered all across the map, and you just gotta collect as many as you can. Okay. Ooh, as oh, a matter of fact, there's one right next to uh, Razorbeard right there. Where? 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 There it is. Oh, the mini map. Okay, and then I get so then I use the freezing powers to stop him from collecting lumps. Right. Help them, freeze them in their tracks before they before they grab it before you. I shall block them. Get back here, you tra tra traitorous swine! Got it. Oh, that one over here. Uh -huh. I think they respawn. They do. Ah! Uh, did you actually nab that? No, no, I think I got that one still. Uh, yeah, no, the eyes, the lungs will con will constantly uh, spawn oh whenever you whenever you grab one. So it's always a matter of try to get to the, get to that one before the other opponent can. And there's no, as far as I'm aware, there's no way to uh, uh, make an opponent man. drop their whatever lungs they already carried. Nah, nah, it's all about just freeze. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> yes. You know, I have a right. Oh, what the? Bitch, I built you, and I can oh, very uh. much break you. You will never. Oh, oh it's it spawned right back where we. Oh, it's up to here then. Uh, okay. So, uh, James, did you end up ever uh, playing this with anybody, or did you, or did you own this game, or was it not until after uh, emulation stuff that we were able to see this one? Uh, I mean, on. I, I, ah, devil I, I played this there game is. like for the longest there time, like ever since, like the mid, like the mid two thousand. But yeah, no, I was a lonely sap and played it by myself. Which, I mean, there's just enough solo options so, so that you know. I can spend as much time as I want to with it, and I mean, for what's worth, like the oh, overall physics shot. of Rayman Arena are pretty solid. Uh, it's just that, yeah, no, it's be it's a game that's best played with friends if possible. Right, because of all this chaos that we get to. Not to mention, if you're playing solo, uh, you are greeted to some uh, delightful cutscenes where Murphy gets the li literal shit kicked out of him. Oh, but oh, that is sweet. I devil damn. It's okay. There's one over here in the. I know I'm not allowed to say these controls are bad, but. I mean, it, again, it, 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 unless you're strafing, the combat is a little floaty. Like, the, uh, where is it? Wait, oh, it, oh, it's up, it, it's up there again, right? The, the platform. One minute left, boys. Where is oh, it? Oh, what the? Uh, ah! <laughs> like, did you see it? But yeah, no. Oh, it's up. Okay, you gotta go up the ramp. Uh, but no, I will say, still a very noble idea to take. It, it, I'm assuming this is running on the same engine as. Uh, oh. I'm assuming this is running on the same engine as a Rayman 2. I don't... I want to say it's at least inspired by it, but I don't think it's the exact same engine. Oh, boy. <laughs> Got it. Uh, where's next one? Where's next you one? You swine! Oh, it's, it's on the bridge I'm... again. It's on the bridge. I'll turn ah! you into a coffee mic. <laughs> oh, you guys are evenly matched. Where is it? Oh, it's, up, it's on the ledge. It's on the ledge. I gotta go up here. I was oh, never your. Kill you! I was never your metallic slave. Oh, there it is! There it is! There it is! There it is! Get it! Oh, uh, wait! There's oh, wait, thirty what? more seconds! Thirty more seconds! Thirty more seconds! It's a draw, technically. What happens? Grab the lawn, stupid! Oh, <laughs> I didn't know it was like. We're I didn't, on I... overtime. Oh, okay. It's back over there. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna respawn. Hurry up! Oh, <laughs> Out. oh great! Now you're drawn again. Ten more seconds. Where is it? Where is it? It's, it's the there bridge. There can only game. be one winner. I'm... Oh, is there? We gonna have another one? Ah, I'm again. Thirty more seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do this it again. is really amusing. Do it again. 
<laughs> no. Do it again. I wasn't looking. Okay, now I gotta get three. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I'm gonna do this <laughs> with three seconds to kill. Oh no. One. As soon as I win this thing, you're getting you're no. getting torn apart body and rebuilt from scratch. I froze him and he body blocked me. Okay, no, that's <laughs> I, I I I can't make enough points in time for that. To GG. But I can freeze you. Oh damn. Ah, yeah. There well, it goes. That's what I, that's what I like to call delivering the cold shoulder. Ugh. There you Walk go, everybody. Out of four, well, out of that, that out of four games, the hype is declared the victor of the Rayman or Runner. And at least two, and in, in at least one of them, I knew what I was doing. Hooray! That's the joy of this path. So, all hail your dark and shiny overlord. <laughs> Just popping my head. Watch I can do this with my hat. But yeah, no. So, all, so ultimately, I think it's a neat idea as a battle combat racing thing. I don't. I can't think of other multiplayer genres that were like this, where they try to combine it like this. Again, I'm almost thinking to myself, I would, I would love a Smash Brothers esque game from Nintendo where they try to have the Mario Party racing and battling shenanigans all at once. I mean, it'd be nice, but uh, yeah, that also I, I, ladies or, and gentlemen. Or, or I guess now I think about it, they had that. It was called Air Ride. Brink, give us Air Ride again, Smash. Yeah, Nintendo. yes, please. That would be very nice. And actually, so. yeah, while, while, while we're here, why don't we end this thing off the best way it me is meant to be ended off? Oh, with okay, the end. Okay, we'll take a look at, um, let me see. Yeah, we'll start with this one. Okay, oh, this one. Well, let's watch Murphy get those living shit kicked out of him. I read that as Jim Murray. Yes. And also, something I just found out, apparently uh, um, Murphy and these is David Gass. Oh. Really? Oh. Mm -hmm. So Rayman oh, was all... Oh, go. Aw, so... Oh, God. Rip. So at one point, Rayman himself was every character. I think I don't know who they got to voice Globox back in Rayman 2. Um, I, I know it wasn't Gasman, but I'm forgetting his name. Okay. Remy? Hmm. Maybe. So, I mean, yeah, we saw Murphy get, get the kick, sh shit kicked out of him. Want to see it again? Oh, no, no. I was I was going to say, I was going to go, I, I was honestly okay with us just do, going to uh, the end thingy. Okay, then let's go to the end. Yeah, so... I'm the one who controls. Yeah, which, uh, thank you, Core. Cool. But, uh, yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah, man, thank, cool. thanks for letting me borrow your safe file from uh, that one website. Oh, let's see. Bam! Ouch! Oh. Oh, whoa. So, yes. So, uh, yeah, you all ready for a truck trip? Uh, so, yes. Until then, everybody. This has been a... This has been an interesting little adventure, but I look forward to getting... I look forward to the chance to get to enjoy it, at least one more official Rayman game with y'all after this. Hopefully. And I'm... Because... And, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy it for every moment I can, considering that unless things are different or unless suspicions prove to be true with Sparks of Hope... It will be our last official Rayman game that we'll get to look at for the channel. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I know there's a couple of, like, handheld stuff that hasn't... Like, a couple of handheld stuff I don't think we've done look at of yet, but as far as, like, any particularly noteworthy Rayman games, yeah, we've pretty much covered everything. Yeah. More or less, yeah. It was the cause... Thank you. <laughs> also, yes, I do not understand the purpose of this. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Again, it's all just so trippy. It's just a trippy little sequence. Whoop. Okay, and then it just ends as abruptly as it arrived in my life. So, <laughs> uh, any last words, Hype? Globox for Smash? I, do, I don't know. I genuinely cannot predict how people would react if Globox got announced before Rayman. I don't know. You know, know. what? I feel, like, I feel like at this point, us hungry Rayman fans would be like, at least it's something. No, <laughs> if Min Min got to be put in Smash, just saying. I guess that is true. <laughs> that is true. And everyone knows I'm about as thick as all those other Smash ladies. God, that is like that would be like just such an odd punch in the face for some reason. The idea of having of getting glo of getting Murphy as a character and Rayman as a me outfit. I, I mean, Glowbox. actually, now that you mentioned that, like I can just suddenly imagine now Glowbox is the one that gets a me outfit, but Rayman gets his spirit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On that note, we'll see you all next time for whatever Rayman shenanigans we have uh, in store. Stay tuned for even more Rayman, more chaos, more... more Ray, more man. Watch out to your lists. I'm gonna rock you. <laughs>